is also going to be doing the review of his Pulse R76 AK47U from Crossman. This is my AK47U. Um, like you just saw the um, if you if you viewed um the um unboxing, this gun is mostly metal. The stock's metal right here. The um the inter the interior is also metal. This bolt here is metal. The frame's metal. Now this rail is plastic because most rails are plastic, which is really most of them are. But um, this got it's got a rubber grip, which is really nice. It's got a r rubber um floor grip handle. You can put a handle on it. Um, you can also I don't think you can get silencers on it. But I made a homemade silencer, and it goes on pretty tight, and it doesn't really fall off. It fits on there like that. And my friend gave this to me, so you make it with thin, um, thin um, bottle caps, and I just put tape on it. So um, now, if you want, you can look down through the sights. Can you see down through there? These are pretty sweet iron sights. And you can adjust them too. That's really nothing. But um, the, it's sweet because it has the like unlike my Sig 5 Commando, it has the rail up there, which is that's a pretty sweet rail. Yeah, it's got rails on the side too. I'm getting a red dot pretty soon for this, and then I will show you that later if I do get a red dot sight. Um, me and my brother will show that. Um, stock can fold in. I don't recommend running around with the stock folded in though, cause it um dents your um rubber right there it puts these little things into the rubber and it dents it so i keep it out because i like stocks i don't really like close close range that much but um the magazine holds 375 um rounds you wind it up cock it and it's right here um safe full auto and then here let me take the stock out so you can see yeah, right you there. cannot, you Semi. can't go full auto when the stock's on there for some reason, which is pretty stupid. Yeah, but, um... Or I mean when the, um, the retractable stock, collapsible stock's down. Yeah, okay. Now, um, the rate of fire on this gun is good. Okay, now full auto. Um, I, you don't have to charge this that many times, which is pretty good. It holds its battery, and you can buy other batteries for it right here. It's pretty loud. You, as you can see, the hop up on the inside right there, that little knob right there. It's hard to turn that C. It's hard to see. And then you pull it back and forth and hop it up. I have it on a pretty good hop up. This gun's not the most accurate gun, but it's really good for CQB. I'm serious. This is really light. It's only like maybe three pounds, three or four pounds. This has been the review of the Pulse R76. Airsoft AEG from Crossman.